Hey guys, Jeff here for One Fish, Two Fish. Uh, today we are going to do another one of our One Fish, Two Fish Explains. Um, today we are going to talk about, uh, this is, I would suspect across the board, uh, but it's very much for us. We get asked all the time why we don't carry more of certain fish. Um, uh, to name a few, mandarins, um, flame angels, um, some, some, some tangs, uh, copper band butterflies. Um, fish that come with a little bit more than just the fish uh, and there's a lot more than just these fish that I'm talking about but just to give you guys an idea of which um, the type of them that I'm sort of talking about uh, because we do get asked all the time you know when you bring these in why did you bring in two why didn't you bring in 12 or something like that um, and it goes for us a couple of different reasons um, one thing I'm not going to do on this channel and God knows I want to sometimes, uh, but when it does happen to us, and occasionally it does, it really pisses me off, uh, and I want to blow up about it, so I'm not going to, I'm really not going to do anything on this channel, if I can help it, um, too negative. I'm not going to kind of talk bad about uh, products, or um, I'm not going to talk bad about companies, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to try to keep it very, very positive. Um, so, with that said, one of the reasons why we don't bring some of this stuff in is because of the suppliers that we have. Um, we have got some phenomenal, um, I'm actually going to shout out a couple of them, um, only because of how good they actually are to us. And I, um, I don't know if this is how they are across the board. Uh, I don't know why they would be so nice to me. Uh, I've never met a lot of these people, obviously. Um, but some of the suppliers we have... Uh, I, I deal with mostly the same suppliers that I've had from day one, um, with the exception of a few. Uh, I'm not going to name drop anything, but I am going to tell you a couple of examples on um, how I have kind of stopped with some with some spots. Um, but just to shout out a couple of them, like Seachem. Um, Seachem is one of the only suppliers that actively gives us free stuff to help run our store. Uh, they actively have a program that they they make sure you follow. Now, there are some rules to it. They're all very obtainable rules. There are different levels to it. Again, really not hard to get a decent amount of stuff. Uh, but Seachem will actually send us. Um, it, they do it in quarters, so you can order every quarter. We actually do it because with the shipping and all that stuff, I think they send ours every second quarter, but we get the amount of points for both where we are able to spend points with them um, to use stuff in our store. Very, 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 very helpful. Um, they probably don't get near amount, the amount of credit they should. We will promote their products. If they come out with something, um, we will try almost anything they do just because of how much we like most of their stuff. Now, it doesn't mean everything that we try of theirs we will like as much as we like something else. Um, you know, they're newer to salt water. Uh, you know, we don't use a ton of their saltwater stuff. Their freshwater stuff, we're probably 90%. If they use, if they make the product, we use it, we sell it, we stock it, um, we promote it, we enjoy it. Uh, but we use them because, like I said, they're so... that we, we know that they have our back. They're out there wanting us to do well um, and just with giving us all the stuff. So with us, very much, it's that way with our livestock. Um, one supplier that is awesome with us we have had a couple only recently, and this hasn't happened to me in years, and it had nothing to do with them, but when stuff like that happens, for them to just completely eat it, um, ask me for nothing, take it complete, and, and just do everything, even help me with the shipping, even help me out to make sure I didn't lose any money, um, a big shout out to Sustainable Aquatics. Um, these guys are actually in the United States, so if you're in the United States, if you buy clownfish, it is very likely they're coming from Sustainable Aquatics. Um, they breed all kinds of different fish. They've got, uh, and much more than just clownfish, they do a lot of, uh, they do orchidotti backs if you're getting them. For the most part, they're only captive bred now uh, because they look so nice. They have a lot of different types of fish, um, and they also have a program where when they bring in fish, they put it through what they call Sustainable Island, I believe it's called. Uh, and if you're getting fish from them, you are going to pay a little bit more, but you know this is going to be a good fish. This is going to this fish is going to eat when you get it. Um, it's it's not going to have any again. 
you never you never guarantee it but it's likely not going to have any disease it's likely not going to be infested with anything they will have weaned that out just by keeping it long enough to know that it's good fish um, so we do we, we want to give out uh, instead of um, and I know unfortunately negative sells more than positive stuff but we do want to give big shout outs to the guys that make sure we do well uh, and they are certainly one of the people we love buying fish from them um, if they ever got to the point where if they are breeding something, I'm selling it. I don't care what it is. If it's not a big selling fish, if it's not, it's certainly something we'll bring in and stock uh, just because we enjoy them as much as we do. Um, and because the people that I deal with there are, have always been so nice to me. Um, the last order that we had, um, it was a shipping error um, that, that caused the issue. Uh, when it got to us, the bags were just freezing, which is very not normal for these guys. And even when it is, it usually doesn't even matter. You put them in, you warm them up, you give them a little bit of time, and they come around. This particular order was a horror show. Um, it, it just, you could tell something was. And uh, my people at the shipping company kind of let me know beforehand that I was about to deal with a bad order. Blah, blah happened. And anyway, when it showed up to us, the bags were freezing. You knew it wasn't going to be a good order. And we lost like 95% of the whole order, which is just, I would never do a video of it because it's horrifying. It's not fun. It's not something any of us, it's it's the worst part of the job for sure. Uh, when you get a bad order and you just have to look at, especially beautiful little fish, and you just have to put away fish that didn't stand a chance that were just frozen in the bag. So on an order like that, there are no companies that cover shipping. You you have to pay the freight because they have to pay the freight. They go out of their way to make sure that even though I have to pay the freight and I do, that they make sure they top up my order with some free stuff every time to make sure I do okay off it. Buying fish from them, I never lose money. And, and I can't say that about another fish supplier that I have. I have never bought fish from them and not made money off it, um, which is awesome. And their DOA rate is usually nil. To the point of you know you buy 200 clownfish if you have two doas you're asking questions of what happened because you're just not used to it um so we do we do love them there we try to support them whenever we can um, get fish from them whenever we can any clownfish that i've sold in the last you know i would say at least five years has come from them um, we always stock a bunch of clownfish um regulars to just you name them, they probably have them. And a lot of them, they sort of, I don't know if invented is the right word, but they have bred them themselves. Um, they have started from there. So, um, you know, a lot of their fish are beautiful. Like I said, we're, we're big on supporting them. So for clownfish, if somebody asks us to bring in a particular, and there is not many, there's very, very few, but if they, somebody wants a clownfish that they don't sell, I just won't bring it in. Only because uh, they're so good to me, I don't want to... I don't want to give any of my money, any of my business for clownfish, which is what they do to anybody else. So, and again, because their selection is so big, it's really not happened more than like twice in a bunch of years. But when somebody does say, and it's tricky when it's a good customer and they're like, look, I, I just really want this pair. It's unfortunate, but we just won't do it because of that reason. Um, and now the other reason for um, some of the other tricky fish is because we do deal with, um, to be honest, not a ton of suppliers. We have a handful that we like. We have had some of the most horror so, so stuff happen. We have had um, we have had one supplier sell us a whole bunch of really nice Zoas. Sent us pictures. We handpicked a bunch of them. Um, we were getting WYSIWYG pictures like this is what you're getting. You know, it took two months. It finally showed up. It just just horrible. Just not, not anything like the pictures. And that happens a lot in this industry. It's unfortunate. Um, you know, some companies, uh, you, 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 can, you, can, you can just make this stuff look better than it actually does, and that's unfortunate, which is why we very much on our website, we try to do the bare minimum to any of our pictures. I would rather you look at it and not like it enough to buy it and then get it and it not be right. So we try to keep our pictures just... And probably to a disservice to us because some of the stuff doesn't even look as nice as it does when we're looking at it. Uh, but we've had it happen to us a couple of times and it sucks when you're expecting one thing and you get the other. Um, so we just kind of don't do it. Um, that's the same with some of our fish suppliers. Um, they're, 
we have access to what our suppliers have, which normally, don't get me wrong, is 95% of what's in the world. There's not too much we can't access. Um, where I live, for the most part, um, you know, I, I'm, we're the go-to store for anything kind of out there because we're usually able to find it quicker. Um, I know right now, like seahorses, the supplier where I get them haven't been available in forever to the point of I have friends that are waiting for them and I just can't get them. Now, recently, I actually had access to some that I just won't buy because I, I've just had so many bad experiences with the supplier. I just, I just, I don't want to take the risk again and I find it very hard to not support the guys that support us. Um, because like I said, this guy, the guys that we deal with, we've had for 10 years. Um, all of our dry goods people have been basically the same. We have taken on one new one, uh, you know, four years ago or five years ago and it was only because we had dealt with him in another company and we knew him and he started his own thing. So there was already a relationship there, but we're just, we're not interested in, and again, it does do our customers, a, you know, a one in a hundred time, a disservice where we won't bring in certain things from certain companies only because they're not from the companies we like. So, um, like I said, we, it doesn't happen thankfully very often, but whenever you're in and you're asking why we can't get certain things or why this company can, why I see this over here, flame angels is a big one. Um, I know there's a couple of spots right now where you can get flame angels, but I've heard just nothing but horror stories from it that all of them within a couple of weeks are just dying. It just, we're not interested in making that kind of money. It doesn't help us. Um, it pisses you guys off. And in the, at the end of the day, the profit you make off the fish, it's just, it's not worth having to deal with you guys getting, buying it, it dying, it being sick and all that stuff. So when our suppliers bring them in, which is usually only a couple times a year, that's when we buy them. We try to stock up on them, of course, you know, get get as many as we can house comfortably. Uh, but that is one of the things that we do get asked all the time. Um, not all the time. We do get asked why you can see stuff, um, you know, in let's say Ontario, which is a big hub for Canada. It's the best spot, best base to ship stuff. All, a lot of our stuff will go through Ontario. Um, why you see it so often there and it's the, the big and small of it is just because we are so loyal to our customers or to our customers um obviously we are to our to our uh, to our suppliers um that we really just stick to what they have to offer um so i would suspect that a lot of um fish stores that got started like me that are owned by a person not a company um that are you know run by the people that own it that are there every day are probably very similar um, in that they have a handful of people that they deal with and that's just what it is they deal with what they have um, they sell what they have they offer what they have and they leave it at that because that's sort of how we end up doing better in the end um, we we try very much whenever we can support the guys that are supporting us we certainly do we had an order we had an order a couple weeks ago that the airline did a big boo-boo on and actually to give them some credit they actually stepped up and they warned us that they did it they called us they said look we screwed this up uh we left an order outside um it's gonna be bad we think they they blocked they, they, it was just it was just a horror show so when we went to pick it up they asked us to open it show us show some of the fish because they suspected it would be bad we did they were all dead um it was a very big order it was a lot of nice stuff and the whole order was just dead. It was left outside for a lot of hours. Um, again, credit to them for actually being good, stepping up, owning the mistake. I'm not going to say their name, but, um, you know, they, they took it. They said, we did do this. We acknowledge it, whatever. Uh, the supplier that sent that to me now doesn't want to send me any fish. So it's very hard for us to kind of care what they're doing. So the suppliers that we like to do, like I said, we will stick with the guys that we know are out for our, that are trying to make sure we're doing well. It is a business. We do have to make money. For us to make money, we need healthy fish. For us to do well as a company, we need healthy fish so you guys get healthy fish. So anyway, rambled on a little bit longer on that than I was intending to. I hope that sets, um, I hope that gives some idea why when you are seeing a certain fish in a handful of different spots and your local fish store can't get it, before you beat them up too much on it, it could be something very similar to why we don't. 
um, because we're just not looking for it. If our suppliers don't have it, we kind of just don't worry about it. I hope that sets some. If you guys like these videos, make sure to subscribe, comment below, like the channel, and we'll see you soon.